Hello dear friends today we will study some formulas for trigonometry there are the, there are the some derivation of trigonometry de trigonometric formulas in a simpler way like sin a plus b sin a minus b or you can say sin alpha plus beta cos alpha plus beta in a simpler way so what we have is we have a rectangle abcd in which e is any point on bc and f is on cd such that angle aef is a right angle and we are consider af as of one unit and let eab is alpha and angle eaf is beta therefore angle fag becomes alpha plus beta where fg is perpendicular to ab so since af is 1 and alpha is angle you can say as bae and beta is angle eaf so in triangle afg if af is 1 we have fg as sin alpha plus beta and ag is cos alpha plus beta so our aim is to find the formulas for sin alpha plus beta and cos alpha plus beta that is our aim is to find the values of fg and ag respectively now in triangle aef since af is 1 and angle fae is beta so what we get is fe is sin beta and ae is cos beta and since angle eab is alpha so angle aeb becomes 90 minus alpha so and FEA is 90 so what we get is FEC is alpha so again in triangle FEC since we have FE as sin beta so EC becomes cos alpha sin beta and FC becomes sin alpha sin beta and in triangle ABE since AE is cos beta and angle EAB is alpha so what we have is BE is sin alpha cos beta and AB is cos alpha cos beta now AG is equal to AB minus BG and BG is equal to FC so what we have AG is equal to AB minus of FC therefore AG is cos alpha plus beta as mentioned earlier and AB is cos alpha cos beta and FC is sin alpha sin beta so we have cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus of sin alpha sin beta also FG is sin alpha plus beta and also FG is equal to CB which is equal to BE plus EC therefore we have FG is equal to BE plus EC and since FG is equal to sin alpha plus beta and BE is sin alpha cos beta EC is cos alpha sin beta therefore we get sin alpha plus beta is equal to sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta next we come to the second formula of cos alpha minus beta and sin alpha minus beta here the diagram is same again ABCD is a rectangle E is on BC and F is on CD such that angle AEF is 90 degrees and we are consider AF as one unit but here we have taken some angle alpha beta is different way likewise angle EAD is taken as alpha and angle EAF is taken as beta therefore angle FAD becomes alpha minus beta since AF is one unit so and angle FAD is alpha minus beta so we have AD as cos of alpha minus beta and FD as sin of alpha minus beta and in triangle EAF since AF is 1 and angle EAF is beta so we have EF as sin beta and EA as cos beta now since angle DAE is alpha and AD is parallel to BC so we have angle AEB is again alpha and by angle chasing we have angle EFC is also alpha now in triangle ABE since AE is cos beta and angle BEA is alpha so we have BE as cos alpha cos beta and AB as sin alpha cos beta and in triangle ECF since angle CFE is alpha and EF is sin beta we have CE as sin alpha sin beta and CF as cos alpha sin beta now AD is equal to CB which is equal to BE plus EC so AD is cos alpha minus beta and B is cos alpha cos beta and EC is sin alpha sin beta so we have the formula for cos alpha minus beta which is equal to cos alpha cos beta plus sin alpha sin beta also DF is equal to DC minus of CF and DC is equal to AB so we have DF is equal to AB minus of CF as df is equal to sin alpha minus beta 
and AB is sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta which is the value of CF. So we have sin alpha minus beta is equal to sin alpha cos beta minus of cos alpha sin beta. Now we will study some third formula. Again ABCD is a rectangle in which angle BA is alpha and E is a point on BC and F is a point on CD such that angle AEF is 90 degrees. And we have considered AB as one unit here. Since angle BAE is alpha and angle EAF is beta and AB is 1. In triangle ABE, since AB is 1, so we have BE as tan alpha and AE as sec alpha. Using AE as sec alpha in triangle AEF and angle EAF as beta, we have EF as sec alpha tan beta. Now since angle BAE is alpha, so angle AEB becomes 90 mass of alpha. Angle AEF is 90, so by angle chasing we get angle CEF as alpha. Now in triangle ECF, since EF is sec alpha tan beta, we have cos alpha as CE upon EF, that is CE upon sec alpha tan beta. After simplifying we get CE as tan beta and tan alpha in triangle CEF is FC upon CE and CE is tan beta we get FC as tan alpha tan beta. Now in triangle AGF tan alpha plus beta is equal to in triangle AGF tan alpha plus beta is equal to FG upon AG. FG is equal to CB and AG is AB minus of GB. So CB is equal to BE plus EC upon AB minus GB. GB is FC. So therefore tan alpha plus beta is BE plus EC upon AB minus of FC. So tan alpha plus beta is equal to tan alpha plus tan beta upon 1 minus tan alpha tan beta. Thank you.